welcome back to Whatever happened to what's his name? Today you lucky blighters are going to catch up with children's television host from the 1980s, Tom Foote. From 1982 until 1987, Tom Foote appeared on daily television between cartoons before kids went to school and after they got home in the afternoon. What do you see when you look into a mirror? You see your own reflection. Heidi and I are going to be doing a mirror back and forth, showing each other how to reflect one another. This is something you might want to try at home. It's called silent communication. Ready? Let's begin. People are going to help show me this game. Uh, they're going to show you the game where you push. Okay, start now. They're going to push without using their hands and try to stand up. Uh, they're going to keep trying to stand up. Really pull and push. There they are. They're going to stand up. This is a game you can try. Got to work together. It's called stand up without using your arms back to back. In fact, the Tom Foot episodes were actually public service announcements. They were broadcast in 30 and 60 second segments. Taping was done weekly and Tom was able to focus community attention on people, places and events in New Orleans as well as make public appearances. In 1987, Tom Foote gave it all up, and went back home to his roots in Michigan. While Tom was getting started on television, he was also becoming a new dad, first in 1982 and again in 1985. It began to appear that his sons would be faced with growing up more than a thousand miles from flesh and blood family in Michigan. And the pull of home and family became too strong. After a while, Tom enrolled and was accepted to Michigan State University and graduated in 1990 with a B.A. in Integrated Telecommunication Systems. Today, 10 years after a surgery for colon cancer, he is a survivor, and as of the last exam, still cancer free in the years between 1975 and 2000 or so getting up in front of children in a classroom setting was like falling off a log so how is the old man today that's what whatever happened to what's his name wants to know even if you do not he was recently invited to the neighborhood career day program at the local elementary school and as the camera watched unblinkingly Tom Foote met a new generation of children. For the very first time. One way or the other, Tom Foote is going to fall off that log again, after a very long time away. Will he land on his feet, or his backside? You be the judge. The date is March 30, 2012. This is the first of two classes of third grade children Tom is seeing today. Who's not here? Raise your hand. Quiet. Who's not here? Raise your hand. Look, <laughs> you got it. You got it. Put your hand on. <laughs> Hi there, you guys. Hi. Uh, my cousin has those. What? Suspenders? Yeah. <laughs> he got it when he came for Christmas. Yeah. Hey, well, we laughed at him. When you get real old, sometimes we can't see that. I'm a performer. Maybe you can tell. Yeah, I already told us that. Yeah, well, I could probably tell you again. Hi. What grade is this? This is third. And they're like one of the best third graders. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Okay, okay, I have some questions for you here. Okay, oh, let me look at the time. What time do you think we might leave? Well, they have us here until 10.05, but and they're running a little bit late. At that point, I'm going to say 10.15. Yeah. You know, they're, they'll stop we'll play us. by you, won't Yep. We? Yeah. But probably. at least 10.05, you, you got like 10.05, 10.05 yeah, yeah, yeah. at least. Yeah, yeah, Okay, so let me run through some things for you. Um, let me run through some things for you. 
<laughs> doesn't make sense, does it? No. No, it doesn't. Sometimes we say and do things that we don't even know where they come from. Um, you know, sometimes, uh, let's see. Um, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I bet nobody's ever heard that, have you? No. no, 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 no. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, let me show you what I can do. See this? Yeah. Here's my question to you. Is this juggling? No. 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 Yes. No. 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 Why isn't it juggling? Because you have to have more things. You gotta have more things going on. Yeah, right. Okay. okay. Now I have two up in here. Have two hands and two of these things here, so. Is this juggling? Yes. Well, no, not exactly, because I have two things three. and two hands to work with. You need three. With. Well, or else, if you have just more than you have hands to work with, if I put this hand behind my back, and can keep two things going. That's the definition of juggling. When you can keep more things. Oh. And so then you can do this. This is the yo yo. And this is the oi oi. Yeah, it's a backwards yo yo. <laughs> so, how did I arrive at this place? Well, I was born. I was once the youngest baby in the whole world. <laughs> so was I one. Me too. Me too. Well, there goes that storyline. <laughs> so anyway, I was born in Flint. I mean, the, do you? I went to Civic Park Elementary School. I went to Flint Northern High School. In my senior year, I was the Viking. <laughs> so was my mom. This is my show, kid. So anyway, I have three of them now in two hands. So the basic three ball pattern is like this here. Where I have more things going on, I have hands. Then back, 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 I'm go off. That's one of the first tricks I ever learned. It's called drop. Thank you. Thank you very much. There's a lot of things you can even just do with a single item like this. There's uh, I gotta always readjust things here. You can throw it over your back and catch it in the same hand. You can throw it over your back and catch it in the uh, opposite hand. Um, you can go under your leg. That was hit the roof. <laughs> And these are my juggling sticks. I made these. These are just wooden sticks from the hardware store. <laughs> There's one. Do you know that these, this actually has words to it? Did you know it has words? Yes. What are they? Shave and a haircut. Two bits. That's what the words are. People used to... Two bits is a quarter. And, and, and a long time ago, people would either shave and a haircut for a quarter. They went, shave and haircut, two bits. So we just go. Okay, so anyway, I made, I put these together. These are sponge rubber balls and some sticks. And you tap them back and forth and try to get it to balance just for an instant. It just balances. In a way, I guess it's juggling. Oh, there's the drop again. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good old gravity wins out every time. A long time ago, I used to be on television. And this is a picture of me with a couple of kids when I was being my TV guy. And it was National Dental Health Month. And when I would see kids and they would ask my autograph, I would have these pictures here. I would hand them sometimes. So that's when I had more hair and less wrinkles. <laughs> but I'm happier than I've ever been. And it's kind of fun, you know, that way because you guys got everything in front of you still. So we've all come here to tell you and remind you that you know you're in school for a reason, right? Yeah. So that when you get done with it, you can go out and, and do a job that you like. Maybe that job might be uh, driving a school bus, which I saw one of the people said. I used to do that too. So, you know, there's a lot of jobs that people can have. And it's going to be kind of fun. 
and it won't always be fun. But you know what? It's good to have some times that are not so fun. You know why? Because then when times are fun again, they're even more fun because of those bad times. So sometimes we have bad that comes with the good. Hopefully we just have more good. Why is your hand in the air? Is it stuffed that way for a reason? <laughs> Going through life like this. Oh, no boy. How are you? Yes. I just... I know you. I know. I saw you in the summertime, didn't I? Yeah. Where, where were we? At Boundless Arts? Yeah. Yeah. In the, in the, we're at the art store where Mary is and uh, yeah. Kayla. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kayla's yeah, cool. She's old. She's like 13, no, she's 14. <laughs> Hi, what's, oh, you have the same affliction. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I, I went to my birthday party at Bart, and that was Bart's. You went to that what, say again? Boundless Arts. Oh, Boundless Arts. Oh, did I see you there? No. Okay, okay. No, okay. I'll put your hands on. What are you going to do? Let's see. How did, what are some things you can do when you're still in school? Uh, to, if, if you were, see, this, I don't recommend trying to be a performer as a choice of careers, I, um, because you could go hungry a lot of times. You need to learn how to do something that can make the money so you can go and try to be a performer um, on the side. So what you should do is, when you get to middle school and high school, if you're interested in knowing how to communicate, take a speech class, try out for the school play, maybe, and be in the play, where you have to remember the words and how to communicate with them. What's wrong, sir? <laughs> Why is your hand in the air? All right, hold on. No, it's fine. What? television for uh, a few years in the 80s. You remember the 80s, don't you? Yeah. What? <laughs> I was an 80s person for Halloween. Were you? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, um, well, let me just tell you, so I, I also want to tell you something that I'm doing today. And I've got this little poster here I'm going to just share with you real quick here. It's called... Gromlaw, down there in the bottle, Gromlaw, GromlawMichigan.org um, is a website I have, and Gromlaw is what Grand Blank used to be called before it was called Grand Blank. It was called Gromlaw, Michigan. And I'm helping to create something called Time Banks. And in a Time Bank, if I gave the teacher an hour of my time helping her do something very simple, Maybe um, getting her lawn cut or something, or, or the lights changed uh, around the house maybe because she couldn't do that, or a ride to the airport or something. If I gave you an hour of my time and I put that in the computer and you confirm that I gave you an hour, now I can ask somebody else to help me do something. And it's a very good idea, especially in the world we live in today. At my old age and all my experiences that I've learned over the years, I've heard and learned that it's almost harder to be nice sometimes to people because you actually have to sometimes remind yourself because it's so easy to be not nice. It's so easy to say something crummy to somebody and make them feel bad because maybe it makes you feel better when you say something bad to somebody. <laughs> but I find overall it's better if people help each other. And every time you help somebody, you feel better for doing it. And so that's what I want to encourage you to always remember, is it's easy to be crummy, and it's harder sometimes to think about doing the right thing, but you need to do that. You need to exercise that part of your brain. Yes, sir? Um, oh, someone was coming to you. What would you do? If what, now what? <laughs> someone was coming to you, what would you do? Coming to me? What do you mean? Coming to me? Yeah. I let it go, personally. I figure if somebody's got a problem of some sort like that, that's their problem. So, 
if they don't like me or it or something, I just say, I'm sorry you feel that way. And I'm just going to go away because I can't let it be me. Anyway, you should learn how to do some of these things because I like doing them. Because I like trying, oh, jokes, my jokes, i got to do my jokes for you. I think jokes are a sign of being kind of smart sometimes because you got to know some things. At least my jokes are. I hope so. Anyway. Here we go. Did you know that Cinderella was a bad basketball player? Yeah. <laughs> she ran from the ball. <laughs> Cinderella was a bad basketball player because she ran from the ball. She had a pumpkin for a coach. You've heard of Kermit the Frog. What, what's Kermit the Frog's middle name? The. Kermit the Frog. Okay, ready? Oh, yeah, no. Answer me. Ready? Knock, knock. Who's there? Kerch. Kerch who? God bless you. <laughs> Kerch who? Kerch who? No, I Okay. Three times a turn. Okay, let's see here. Oh, oh. I do impressions. This is my impression of a duck. standing in a kind of a doorway or something. I like to do this too. Hi, Grandma. I'm really glad you can get it for Thanksgiving because, you know, I really miss it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and if that one isn't easy to do, then you go. are not here now. Raise your hands. I did not hear. That's gibberish. Gibberish. Now, see, I also do something called improvisation. I teach people how to improvise. And improvising comes out of playing games. I teach games. Wouldn't that be a fun job? Teaching yes. games to people? I know. Yeah. If we had more time, I would try to do one here with you. Let's see. Oh, did we play any games in the summer? Did you remember? Um, I think. Did we play, um. <laughs> you didn't even let her get a talk. Well, I, yeah, just have to say it if you remember. Well, I I mean, did we do the one where you leave the room and come back and guess? No, it was like, um. When we were like playing with three stack, I think. Oh, yeah, that's too big. We could do that, yeah. Like, uh, Old Man in the Well? Oh, yeah! Old Man in the Well. I love that. Movie. Yeah, yeah. We play the, there's a game you play, and, and somebody is the old man in the well. Yeah, we can do that. And the mother, and the mother. <laughs> mother, mother, remember that? Mother, mother, may we have some bread and butter? And she says, let me see your hands. Oh, they're filthy dirty! <laughs> and then she says, uh, and they say, you gotta go wash them. And so she goes to the well. Okay, come, yeah, come to the well. Come to the well. So she comes to the well. And she starts, now she's got other brothers and sisters behind her, the rest of you guys know. And suddenly, uh, the old man in the well goes, oh! No! <laughs> and she runs back, and she goes back to the mother. Do you remember what she says? Mother, mother, there's an old man in the well. <laughs> That's nonsense. That's just your father's underwear. We hung out to dry. <laughs> and then she says, "Don't be son. Don't be son. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then it's a game, isn't it? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. And then at the end of the game, the old man jumps out and tags two people, and they get to be the mom and the next 
monster. Oh. Yeah, that's a game. Can we play? No. <laughs> but I tell you what, honestly, have me come back sometime. I haven't done this. Uh, no, uh, I think I did one in the fall. A, a, a year ago now, I did a program. You know, uh, and I love these chairman, you guys. So, anyway, I'm sure. uh, you know how to crack your nose? Okay. You have a fat nose. <laughs> you take your thumbs and you put them in your teeth like this and you go. Yeah. Okay. But you cover it up and you go. Yeah. It grosses grown ups out. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm not a grown up anymore. So. It's never too late to have a happy childhood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did, buddy. Okay, let me show you my toy. Oh, okay, here we go. Ready? Right, see my finger? My dad can do this. Oh, yeah. oh, you're supposed to see it. It's not like it's going to bleed or something. <laughs> But uh, I used to do it with a bunch of other people. We would all stand in a straight line, and we would jut our heads out in different ways, and our arms like this, and then our legs like this, and we would be this multi-monster thing. It was called the Hobby Monster. The Hobby Monster liked to eat people. But <laughs> <laughs> he'd eaten all the people. Oh, God, he he'd eaten all the people in this part of northern Michigan. Yeah, I was, it's just a story. You see, you see movies all the time. Yeah. Movies are stories too, you know. Yeah. Yeah. The only, the only, yeah, Cinderella. The only difference is they're behind a screen. Oh, hey, wait a minute. your hands, the way you walk and talk, just like all real people do. Um, next time you watch a movie, if you're ever interested in working someday in, in the entertainment field, notice when the credits go by at the end of the movie. There's all these job titles and all these things. Yeah, yeah those are all jobs. You, know, so you don't have to be the next famous person on the screen. There's a lot of other kinds of jobs that you can have. You know, you start kind of thinking in those directions that you're in just right now. You'll be able to communicate real well. This is taking on to get out of breath. I'd like to say that uh, in May of this year will be 10 years since I beat cancer. So. 
and it's fun, nice to be able to say I'm here, and it's also I'm out of breath right now. So, <laughs> questions, comments? Your arm is stuck in the air there, but it's just going to stay there. <laughs> oh, she can cross her eyes. A little bit. Okay, any questions or comments? You will be right back there. Yes, of course. Oh, really? I love all the schools in Grand Blanc. I, I think you kids are the best, and uh, we're really fortunate to live in such a, a great community. I hope we'll be able to see you again. What's your question or comment? May 5th is her birthday. I don't need to hear any more birthdays, but thank you for that information all the same. Mine is January 5th. And nobody, Mine is January 3rd. Okay, guys. Nobody cares about your birthday on January 5th. You know? <laughs> It's been New Year's and Christmas and everything else. That's my birthday. That's my birthday. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, two things. Um, one, where is your chicken head? head? My chicken head, yeah. I don't. It's and, outside his home. And two. My bird. Um. No. Uh, when you make the elephant. The elephant shadow. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I can't. I don't, yeah, I, I make hand shadows on the wall and stuff like that. And then, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it will fire up real quick. Yeah. I can show you a couple of these. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, I see. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. No, no, you don't have to do all the lights. No, no, no. no, no, no. I, I'm sure you'll be able to Hopefully, we get some light from it. Oh, they're starting. Does it give us any? I saw it blink. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's coming on. I'm I think just it's going to give well, us... Well, I'll wait just a second while we do that. Uh, oh, yeah, I did. Oh, there we go. Oh, maybe okay. you're good. Yeah. Except that... Well, let's... You can't see it. That's why I said... So I got to get some light tape underneath here. That's why I said that you're okay. I understand, and I appreciate it. <laughs> you know, I just didn't know. Oh, no, it's okay. I got it. Right, There's my dog. Giants, these are elves, and these are wizards, and you play it. It's basically paper, scissors, rock. Giants beats elves, elves beats wizards, and wizards beats giants, and they do it in two teams. And what happens is they all have to agree, and they all have to agree, and there is the, That's the challenge. challenge. Yeah, and then remember what you did. Attention staff and students, it's time to classroom session. Okay, what did you say? Yeah, you guys gotta go. I, I can't do that. Sorry. No, you better go now. Oh, it's not. You forgot the elegant. Yeah, that's true. Come on now. See ya. Be good. Can't be good. Oh, trip. Stop the ball. 